What's up, y'all? It's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the build, and I'll be breaking down Marlon Rice versus Song Yadong. Great fight in the Bantamweight division. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, comment, and share the video. Let's get this eBay Fight Prediction Nation growing. But yeah, back to the to the breakdown. Marlon Rice versus Song Yadong. A uh, really great fight in the Bantamweight division. Uh, both guys have a lot, a lot to fucking uh win for um both guys need the win in my humble opinion um and yeah i mean it's a battle in the rankings uh, i think marlon is ranked where's marlon ranked marlon is ranked at number 10 song and dong is ranked at number 14 so really this is you know kind of gatekeeper stuff right here you know obviously marlon being the older vet that's fought for the belt has been in the top five has been the number one guy now in the top 10 uh, defending his position and trying to reclaim his spot as a legit contender fighting for gold. And Song Yudong, a young prospect that had, was given a curveball um, in a few of his fights, but now has fallen, seen some new success and trying to get up there in the rankings. So, yeah, it's, it's an interesting fight. But uh, in terms of the, the stats and the records, Marlon Rice comes with a record of 23-9-1. and one. Fights at a, Right now, he's currently uh, fighting at a Tiger Muay Thai, age 33, a height of 5'6", and a reach of 65.5. Uh, song 18 uh tina five and one uh is fighting at a uh, sacramento california uh, uh alpha male obviously uh, age 24 really young kid uh, i had a 5 8 and a reach of 67 um so song does have the reach advantage here and i mean song his last two performances uh, he looked really good i, I can't I, no no denying the kid he looked really good here uh, i can't even lie um his he beat my boy Julio R so fucking bad. Like, my God, that was a really good fight for him. Um, he looked amazing in there. Uh, I, I was really impressed. I was really impressed with the kid. Uh, knocked him out bad in the second round. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I thought Julio would be the better boxer in there, and it just it just didn't go that way. He he really lit him up, uh, and then beat Casey Kenny. Um, that one was close. Uh, I I thought Song won, but uh, Casey looked good. Casey looked good. Um, I thought Casey kind of m maybe had Song's number. They they did follow the blueprint against Casey, so um, or not against Casey against Song because uh, you know they had their boy Kyle Phillips beat him. But yeah, uh, but yeah, let's talk about the Kyle Phillips fight. I mean Kyler put on a clinic uh in that fight probably Kyle's best performance ever and probably his best win on his record uh the head kick that he landed in the first round fucking stunned song i think song he's really good with his hands and in boxing range but when it's in that like almost like that kickboxing range he deals problems like the high kicks uh and the body kicks but the way kyler went from you know just kicking him into taking him down that was amazing um the way he transitioned his wrestling uh, in there against song was really phenomenal but uh, i mean songs had also questionable fights too like you know against fucking uh marlon vera you know he has a win over him which is a great win and marlon vera is i think even ranked higher than uh marlon marais but uh some people felt like marlon won that fight now i rewatch is actually a pretty close fight in those the first two rounds you can give it to song but the end of that second round i felt like gave it to vera and then obviously vera won that third round and um and then he has that draw against uh, Cody Stamen, and I, I felt like Cody won that fight. Like, there's no denying that. I felt like Cody won that, and uh, they robbed Cody just blind, in my humble opinion. But it is what it is um, by giving him a draw. And then um, probably his best performance, besides the Julio Ars fight, was the the performance that everyone saw him that that put him in the spotlight. Uh, the knockout victory over Alejandro Perez. A guy that just, in my humble opinion, beat Jonathan Martinez. I thought he won that Jonathan Martinez fight. And uh, I picked Martinez, but I still felt like Perez won that. And he fucking murdered Perez, uh, Alejandro, of course, um, song. And he killed him. He fucking murdered him and had a, a tremendous performance. But um, I feel like ever since those that fight, he hasn't been able to live to expectations since the Casey Kenny fight. And I feel like since the Casey Kenny fight... I think he's made a turnaround in his career, and I I give him the nods in 2021 as the most improved fighter. You know he's coming off that loss to Kyla Phillips, and then he showed real improvement throughout the year, and he, he fucking killed it. Respect to the kid, man. He stayed active too, and uh, I was really impressed. 
Uh, what Marlon, man, this is a tale of when you reach the highest of highs and now you're at the lowest of lows, man. This is a really sad story of Marlon, man, and just looking through his record. Um, this guy went from, he had that, you know, obviously he had that loss to uh, Rafael Asansa, right? A split decision loss to begin his career, but went from beating John Dodson, Aljamain Sterling, the current Bantamweight champion, murdered Jimmy Rivera, then fights Rafael Santo in a rematch where he looked fucking amazing, right? He he threw like two straight overhands. I, I've never seen someone throw a faster, like two overhands like that. He fucking murdered Asansa with the knockdown, then submitted him to which was impressive. And in my humble opinion, started the decline of Asansa. And then, right, fights uh, Henry Cejudo. He had an amazing first round. He won the first round. But after that, Suhudo put on probably one of the greatest, in my humble opinion. I wouldn't call it comeback victories, but comeback victories in a, a 135 title fight. I was just in awe of that fight. Still one of, one of my favorite 135 fights I watched live, man. Uh, obviously, I didn't go to the arena, but I mean, watching uh, uh, on the TV, just seeing uh, a goat do work, man. That was just fucking phenomenal, bro. Like, that's what a fucking gold medal looks like. A guy that can push through any adversity and just um, walk up like a champ. But uh, I was just, in I, I was impressed. I was impressed. And yeah, y'all can call me a Cejudo fanboy, but man, he looked amazing in there and just showed the world who he is. And this was a guy in Marlin that everyone thought would beat Cejudo. And Cejudo proved them all wrong. Uh, then he had that fight against Jose Aldo. I felt like he lost to Aldo. And ever since then, you know, he has just either been finished. He's, oh, yeah, never mind. Ever since then, he's just been finished. Or he's been broken. Against Corey Sanhagen, he got fucking, fucking flashed on. Uh, against Rob Font, that was, uh, that was brutal, man. Rob beat the shit out of him. That one was bad. The Rob Font fight was bad. That was bad. That was bad, y'all. Um, I think that was his worst loss of his career. The fucking uppercut that he landed on him, and then the the punches. Oh, god damn, that was bad. And then obviously um, the fight against Marab Davish, really, where he had a lot of success. And I was telling the world, he's gonna beat Marab, you punks. <laughs> he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. But um, yeah, <laughs> he fucking broke. Uh, and now we're here against Song Yudong. I think it's interesting. It's an interesting fight. Um, I think Song has a real advantage here. Puts the pressure on him. Um, you know, maybe makes him some takedowns, makes him some clinch work, but just continually putting the pressure on him. Surviving that first round, he probably beats him. Now, Marlon, I truly believe he has to improve his cardio. This is my, I've been on this kind of Marlon redemption tour ever since the Rob Font, uh, Font fight. I've picked him. And I feel like we're getting closer to a Marlon W here. Um, against Rob Font, he let me down. And against uh, against Marab Davishvili, I didn't think he let me down. He just quit. He quit on himself. Um, and I was so confident he was going to knock him out. I feel like this is the fight he wins. I, I just really, truly believe Song is a good fighter and I respect him. He's proven me wrong on countless occasions. But I think this is the fight Marlon I think he wins, and I think he wins a decision here. I'm actually going to be taking Marlon Rice by decision. I don't think he's going to knock out Song. Song has a pretty good chin. Um, Song, looked re he took a good shot off, off of Kyla Phillips, but I think Marlon Rice by decision here uh, is my pick, and I think that's the pick to, to go by. But hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, go follow me on my Instagram. Go follow me on my Twitter. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe on the YouTube channel. Like, comment, and share the video. Let's get this eBay fight prediction nation growing. Love y'all and goodbye.